what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And in today's tutorial, I'm incredibly excited to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.5.1, the firmware that Apple just released today to actually patch the uncovered jailbreak on iOS 13.5 for all devices. Now, this tutorial does utilize CheckRain, which means that it will not function on newer A12 and A13 powered devices, being the iPhone 10s. 10R and iPhone 11 series respectively. Also, of course, the A12 powered iPads fall into that category as well. For those devices, you need to use Uncover to jailbreak and you can only do it on 13.5. If you're watching this video shortly after its publication, then you can still downgrade from 13.5.1 to 13.5. However, the window to do so is incredibly narrow and it is closing rapidly. Check out that guide linked in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. Also, even if you do have an older device capable of jailbreaking via check rain, on iOS 13.5.1, which includes the iPhone 10 with its A11 CPU and literally any device older than the iPhone 10 that can run iOS 13 and of course, in turn, 13.5.1. I still recommend going back to 13.5 so you can utilize Uncover because that is a semi-untethered jailbreak versus the CheckRain semi-tethered jailbreak. The difference between the two essentially is that with Uncover, once you have the application installed on your iOS device, you do not need the assistance of a computer to boot into your tethered state. Whereas with CheckRain, you do need to plug your device into your computer every single time it powers off or you reboot and you want to re enable your jailbreak. It's as simple as that. So with that said, we're going to get straight into this. I'm going to mention the caveats one more time. And also, of course, down below in the description, you can find timestamps to everything I'm talking about today. But essentially, for the drawbacks here, this does not include support for the newer devices, such as the iPhone XS or XR or iPhone 11 series. And the reason for this is very simple and easy to explain. CheckRain exploits what's known as a boot ROM vulnerability that is within the silicon of the chips powering the devices themselves. Apple closed this vulnerability with the release of the A12 CPU found in the iPhone XS and XR series but it is of course present in the A11 and lower, and it will always be present, which is why it's a double-edged sword. It means you'll always be able to jailbreak the iPhone 10 and older. As long as Apple continues to support those devices, you'll be able to jailbreak them with check rain. And that of course also means it is a tethered jailbreak as well. Like I said, to use your jailbreak stuff, so to speak, you'll need a computer every single time you reboot. And then on top of that, you cannot use Windows natively right now as of recording this video, the CheckRain team still does not include support for Windows. However, I did recently release a jailbreak tutorial targeting iOS 13.4.1 with Windows. That guide still works today utilizing CheckRain. So definitely check down below in the description as well as in your cards right now. It's basically how to get a Linux thumb drive or flash drive up and running and boot into that on a Windows based PC. So that way you can use the Linux version of of check rain to jailbreak. Now, those are all the caveats. We're just going to get straight into this. So down below in the description, there is one article. I want you guys to visit it. It is on best tech info. And uh, what you guys need to do is just essentially scroll down to the download section. And after you do that, click on the big green check rain button, then BTI will gather all of the necessary links and redirect you to a landing page. And I just want you guys to look for where it says click here. Once you see that, click right where it says click here. You'll then be redirected to the official check rain site and then click on get the beta now. And you will be put down to the latest release section on the check rain site. And then just click right where it says download for a Mac OS and it will place it inside of your downloads folder. So then just open downloads and double click on the check rain beta .dmg. The version number that you download based on when you're watching this video may be higher than what you see here. So then just drag CheckRain over into your applications folder. And because I already have CheckRain installed on my Mac, it's asking me to replace it in my applications folder. So I'm just going to click on replace. If this is the first time you're using CheckRain, you will not receive any such prompt. 
So I'm going to just click replace. And now from here, all you have to do is just launch up Checkrain from within inside your applications folder. And you will receive this message by default. It says Checkrain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Do not worry about this. This is just a default system message put in place by Apple to prevent any sort of malicious activity, but Checkrain is not malicious. So we can go ahead and click on cancel. And I want you guys to open the system preferences application on your Mac and then navigate to security and privacy. From here, click on open anyway, where it says Checkrain was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Click open anyway, and then click on open to the pop-up that you receive. And then one more time, you'll need to launch Checkrain from within inside applications. And you can see Checkrain now opens successfully. So what we have to do at this point is just connect our device to our computer via a standard USB cable. And you cannot actually connect with a dock and you do need an official Apple cable. Because of the way that Checkrain works, it is so low level and it is exploiting the device's boot ROM, which means it has to be directly through USB. So go ahead and disconnect any docs you have now and connect your device to your computer via a standard USB cable. Now from here inside of Checkrain, I'm going to click on options and you want to check off the option to allow untested iOS iPad OS and TV OS versions. And also, if you are watching this video at a later point, this step might not be necessary once Checkrain is updated to include native iOS 13.5.1 support. But as I mentioned, because this does exploit the device's boot ROM, it's a hardware based exploit. It cannot be patched by Apple. And for that very reason, we're able to actually use it right now, the same day that iOS 13.5.1 is released to jailbreak susceptible devices powered by Apple's A11 CPU and older. So now at this point, we can go ahead and click on back. And now you can see instead of saying that 13.5.1 is not supported, it just says 13.5.1 is untested and to proceed at your own risk. So we know it's going to be okay though. Checkrain is a very safe application. Let's go ahead and click on start. And now it's just giving us another pop-up letting us know that 13.5.1 is untested. We can go ahead and click on okay. And then next, and it's just going to send our device into recovery mode. This will prevent against any data loss, but if you're at all worried, I recommend that before you actually get this far, you create a backup inside of Finder. Or if you simply have a Windows computer and you're borrowing a Mac, create a backup inside of iTunes. Now at this point, we can go ahead and click start. And by the way, all the steps that you're seeing here are basically one for one if you are jailbreaking on Windows using that aforementioned workaround. So just note that. All right, and at this point, like I said, it's just letting you know that you're going to have to enter DFU mode on your iOS device, and the steps to do so are right here. What you're going to see now are the steps for the iPhone 7 and iPhone 10 model devices, but just note that based on which device you have, the steps to enter DFU mode may differ slightly. They will be listed here. So go ahead and click on start, and for me, I'm going to hold down the side and the power button together for a total of about five seconds, or actually, excuse me, the side and volume down buttons, and then just release the side button and continue holding volume down until DFU mode is entered successfully. And as you can see here, it is bypassing this stage and moving along promptly to exploit the device's boot ROM. So you'll see that in just a second, we have the scrolling check rain text. And basically at this point, for all intents and purposes, it is jailbroken. How absolutely awesome is this, guys? We are jailbroken on the latest firmware from Apple released today to patch a jailbreak. The irony there is just, it's too delicious. So let's go ahead and unplug now. We no longer need our computer and now we can open up the Checkrain application. It is crucial that at this point you are connected to the internet, whether it be over Wi-Fi or LTE. So go ahead and tap into Cydia and then tap on install Cydia. Otherwise, you will not see that option right there. It's going to go out and download the base system, install Cydia. It will appear as though it's crashed, and then you can load up Cydia. It will be on a blank space on your device's springboard, just like I have right here. So let's go ahead and launch up Cydia now. And I'm going to show you at the bottom, Cydia does in fact confirm that this is an iPhone 10,3, the identifier for the global iPhone 10 model 
running iOS 13.5.1 with the latest Cydia build. Just so incredible, guys. It's beyond words, really. And uh, now I want you guys to go inside of the changes section. If you didn't already get a pop-up letting you know that you have essential upgrades, just go to the changes section. If Cydia doesn't refresh, you can refresh manually by tapping on it in the upper left-hand corner. But you can see that I have already refreshed. We already have the changes here. Let's go ahead and tap on upgrade followed by confirm. And now you can see it is downloading these packages successfully. We can tap on respring and uh, Cydia works. And if at this point you're wondering what to get from Cydia, we have done a number of top tweaks videos lately. In fact, we even did one where we showcase over 100 top free Cydia tweaks to get right now for iOS 13.5. Most of them should also work on iOS 13.5. 5.1. You can find links to them down below in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoy your jailbreak on the latest public firmware. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.